those tools have a gender? Is there jobs for men and jobs for women? In 2017, this question can sound obsolete, but at the beginning of the 19th century, asking this question was pretty old. But that's because she mixed a male tool and a female tool that an inventor created a device that is still in use today and that hadn't changed much in 200 years. Born in 1779 in Ardwick, Tabitha Babbitt joined the Shakers community of Harvard, Massachusetts in 1793, community in which she works as a weaver. As sex equality is one of the rules of the Shakers, Tabitha also works as a toolmaker. Her curiosity and her ingenuity help her to develop a double spinning head wheel that improves the productivity of the weavers. But we're not going to talk about this invention today. Shakers are woodworkers and they make furniture. That's why Babbitt often observes the men who cut logs. In those days, they use a flat saw that required two men to be moved back and forth. With this kind of saw, the blade cuts the wood in one direction only, which means that half of the energy spent to pull the saw is lost. In a community that values hard work, Tabitha's philosophy is quite edgy. Work smarter, not harder. So Babbitt starts to think about this waste of energy and realizes that, using a turning movement, like the one of a spinning wheel, the wood cutting operation would be more efficient. Tabitha Babbitt is the inventor of the circular saw. In 1810, Tabitha makes a prototype with a round blade that she puts on her spinning wheel, then she builds a bigger device in the village's water mill. As the saw blade always turns in the same direction, no energy is wasted. Her invention quickly becomes a success because it's simple and efficient. Like Charlotte Bridgewood, Babbitt doesn't get a patent because the Shakers think that knowledge and technology should be used by everyone. And this no patent policy is one of the reasons of the battle for the creation of the circular saw, which took place on both sides of the Atlantic. In Europe, in 1777, a British man, Samuel Miller, gets a patent for a machine using a round blade. At the same time, Gervinus, the German, builds a similar device. In America, another Shaker community claims that one of its members had the idea of the circular saw in 1793. And two Frenchmen copy Babbitt's invention and get a patent for it in 1813. As we are going in circles, let's turn to the Dutch who say that they mastered this technology since the beginning of the 18th century. So, if a doubt exists about the circular saw, everybody agrees on Tabitha's contribution to the nails cutting technology and to the creation of the first false teeth. And if nowadays the circular saw is electric, its design still looks like the one created by Babbitt.